If you want to show specific information for your races, such as brake bias or track temperature, you can have it individually somewhere on your screen wherever you want to and it will only show that specific information and it's called data blocks overlay. Have a look. So let's see where you can find this data blocks overlay. If you click on the overlays menu, you will see the data blocks menu. And here we are for the data box overlay screen. And let's have a look at the settings. The most important settings in the data box overlay is most probably the data source, which is basically what we see. So if I click on the drop down, there is plenty of options to choose what data I would like to see in this data block. So if I choose track name, then you will see we have the track name with an icon in front of it. Usually every data source has an icon and a value. And here the icon is this road icon and the value is the name of the track name. If I choose something else, let's say the current driver, then again we have an icon and we have the value. There are more complex data sources and there are very simple ones. For example, this one is a bit more complex because it's showing the driver name and some additional information. You can also choose to have a wind speed or track temperature. It's up to you what you choose. But this is the most important settings of it. And then you can choose what you want to see. We have this red title bar on top, which you can either change the color of or you can completely turn it off. And you can also get rid of the icon itself by turning off uh, the icon menu. And if you want this to be completely transparent, then you can also simply remove the background with the background opacity slider. So the configurability is, I think it's good enough. There are not many things to talk about. You can increase the size of it, obviously, like in any other overlays we have and there is a streaming info tab where you can just copy it and put it on your streams. One important catch though, if you choose to display the data blocks as an overlay, everything is under the overlays menu are individual overlays because you open it individually, meaning that in terms of data blocks, you can only have one overlay for the data block. So it doesn't matter if you open this track temperature and then you choose something else and you try to open that as well. You're going to only have one data block showing. As soon as you change the data source, the overlay that you previously opened will change to this data source. So it's not possible to have multiple data source overlays showing at the same time in this individual overlay mode. The solution, if you want to have multiple ones, is that you need to use the Layout Builder. I'm gonna link the video for the Layout Builder in the description below. Have a look at it. And just to illustrate what I mean, let's create a new layout and let's open it for edit. So I'm gonna choose the Data Block Overlay in the drop-down menu here. And then we're gonna see that we have the SOF, which we previously actually selected. So with a double click, I can enter the settings of it and I can change to have it something else. But let's leave it as it is right now, as SOF. Let's align it properly, right. So if I want to add one more data block, I just need to click the data block drop down again. And then I'm gonna have the same, but then I can change it. So double click on it and I'm going to choose the data source. Let's say track temperature, close it and then put it somewhere else. I can also put it right behind this or right below this. See, that's simple. I can add multiple ones, double click. I can even decide that this doesn't have title or label. It's a bit more op opaque and a bit more transparent and I want to have the driver name here. There we go. With the power of the layout builder, you will be able to put as many data blocks as you want in whatever configuration or settings you wish. So that's the only 
important thing I wanted to mention about data blocks. That would be it for today. And if you're using the data blocks and missing any data source from this list, please do let me know either in the comment section below or message me in Discord or put it in a suggestion channel on our Discord server. I would be eager to see and hear what you guys want to have here. We have a quite a long list, but I imagine it will grow over time. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I see a lot of you guys are just watching without subscribing. You're gonna miss all the new features. So don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and see you guys later.